quick show of hands. How many of you have asked your doctor for an antibiotic when you felt ill? So it's very common. Here's the problem. If you take antibiotics when you don't need them, you may not be able to fight infections when it matters the most. Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, the chief medical officer of Pfizer is back. We're going to help explain what superbugs are and why they can be so very dangerous. Welcome back, talk about um, something really Thank important. you. This is so critical. So superbugs are bacteria that are resistant to many of the commonly used antibiotics. They can cause untreatable infections, and here's how. So antibiotics are medicines that are designed to kill off the bad bacteria that cause many illnesses that we're familiar with. Bacterial pneumonia, urinary tract infections, whooping cough, tuberculosis. Now the problem arises when we use antibiotics. We either overuse them, we use them improperly, or we use them to treat things that are not caused by bacteria, like colds and the flu. And using them at this time allows the bacteria to adapt and to become resistant to the antibiotics. And I want to show everyone what happens when antibiotics work. What do they do? They attack bacteria. They destroy the bacteria. Now, if you have bacteria that are resistant to that antibiotic, like you're seeing here with these orange bacteria, they can quickly spread and proliferate. That, of course, can make it harder and harder for antibiotics to treat infections. Each year here in the U.S., at least 23,000 people die from antibiotic-resistant infections, and nearly 2 million people get serious infections that are resistant to antibiotics designed to treat those very infections. I talk about this subject all the time on the show. There's a real danger when it comes to overusing antibiotics. My son Carlos was a very happy, healthy 12-year-old. He participated in all kinds of sports. He loved football. But in 2007, he died of pneumonia caused by a bacterial infection called MRSA. Carlos went to sixth grade camp and got sick. When his father picked him up from camp, my son was ghost white, running 104 degree fever. The next day he was worse, so I brought him to urgent care and he was diagnosed with pneumonia. They prescribed him antibiotics, and the next morning he started hallucinating. He was admitted to the hospital and diagnosed with MRSA the following day. They administered the antibiotics, but the MRSA had spread to all of his major organs, including his lungs. There's nothing we could do. Two weeks later, Carlos died in the hospital. This is obviously incredibly tragic. MRSA, it's a type of staph bacteria. It can usually cause a skin infections, but in unique cases, it can spread to the bloodstream, heart, bones, joints, and in Carlos's case, the lungs. It's tougher to treat than most strains of staph because it's resistant to some of the commonly used antibiotics. But unfortunately, in the case with Carlos, he encountered a bacterial strain that was resistant to the antibiotics. Carlos' mom, Amber, joins us, and I just want to offer our condolences and thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to help raise awareness so this doesn't happen to another family. Thank you for opening up about this because we need to talk about what everyone needs to take into consideration the next time that they feel ill so we can prevent tragedies like this from occurring. It's so absolutely true. Now here we come, cold and flu season, these terrible symptoms come upon us, we want a quick fix. So we call our doctor and we pressure them to please give us some antibiotics. Here's the problem, viruses are not effectively treated by antibiotics. And cold, bronchitis, the flu, and many coughs are caused by viruses. So we have to let the cause determine the treatment. Here are some do's and don'ts I want everyone to pay attention to when it comes to protecting your health. Talk to your doc about what treatment is appropriate for your particular illness. When you do need antibiotics, take the appropriate dosage, complete the entire course of treatment, and this is important, never take antibiotics that are prescribed for another person. And here's another tip. Talk to your doctor about vaccines against viruses like the flu or vaccines against bacteria like whooping cough, diphtheria, and pneumococcal pneumonia. So the point to remember here is antibiotics can save lives for people who have serious bacterial infections. But remember, using antibiotics when they're not needed can cause antibiotic resistance and limit your ability to fight off future infections. So for more information on bacterial infections and for how to use antibiotics responsibly, people can visit GetHealthyStayHealthy.com. And while they're there, they can sign up for our monthly newsletter.